Okay, uh, so we're back in Alien Isolation. Uh, where are we going? We're going over here. Okay, time to take another... Apparently, Cortana is a new sidekick from blah blah blah. I don't give a fuck about Cortana. Let me move on. What's down here? It doesn't seem... Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, it doesn't seem that, like, Betty and Regina are here, but... Uh... No, they're here. Oh, they're here indeed. Fuck off, Betty. I don't want your body. You ain't no Lucy. Let me in. I'm like the big bad wolf. Let me in, let me in. I'll blow your house down. Thank you. Okay. I am in the right spot, right? Yeah, okay. So, to Psymed Tower. To the Psymed Tower we go. So. Um... Well, while we're waiting on the loading screen, I'll talk a little bit about this game. Um, so we're into the uh, the the crucial part of the game. We're in the probably I think we're probably about seventy five percent of the way through the game. Um, this is where the game gets really, really good. Um, the part where you're in the nest is like probably the most intense part in the game, but there are other intense parts. So. Um, the next couple parts of the playthrough should be fairly intense. We'll just put it that way. So, let's get going. We're at the Psymed Tower. So where are we going here? Zoom out. I don't have a... Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. So apparently Marlo, who's the guy that uh, found, that brought the alien to... The fuck was that? Was that... Betty? Betty, do you hear me? Uh, so Marlo brought the alien to Sevastopol. Where am I going? Over there, okay. Um, but so he's, he apparently, and, and when we were in the marshal's office, they said they couldn't find his ship because he had sent it off, uh, off into space. So apparently he sent out the uh, recall code to the ship, and now the ship is coming back. So, Apollo! That's a hell of a frowny face. Why does that guy have two noses? Let's investigate. So he has two noses, he has some... fucking dark spots under his eyes. This guy really needs some sleep and some corrective nose surgery. But, we... I digress. We move on. Um, so we are going straight ahead. Okay, so there's a blip on the motion tracker. If I'm not wrong, I think I only deal with one alien at a time for the most of the rest of the game. Fortunately, you don't have to uh, deal with two of them like we did back at their nest. I think I need to go right here. Yeah. <clears throat> So let's ride this elevator. Another load screen. This part is brought to you by the load screen. The load screen, the most integral part of the game. 
<clears throat> but yeah, the um, this this part of the game is really good. I can't remember what's next, quite honestly. I've kind of have throughout the game had memories here and there of the game. But like I said, it's been over two years since I played this. But it's coming back to me little by little, and I kind of remember a little bit what happens, but I'm not sure in what order. So we uh, will see, I guess. But we're going to... I can't... The fucking car... Oh, this is where the thing blew up. This is where we uh, ran into Lucy and she exploded. So let's. Oh, the door's locked. Fuck. Okay. Guess we're going back this way. So this is where we ran into the a Lucy when Lucy blew up. Um. So we're going, and then that's right here is where our friend the android came to life. But now we're going up here. Did lightning just... Did fucking Zeus just throw a th thunderbolt down and strike the door? What did that door ever do to you, Zeus? Fucking asshole. Okay. So let's go... I can't go that way. Fortunately, we can't go that way. Um, Betty's just over there, chilling out. Don't know what she's really doing. Before the lights were on in this part of the... Uh, this part of the ship. Let's just keep on moving. Nice and quietly. Just staying crouched. Son of a bitch. Seriously. Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, it's our... Is that our friend that we woke up? Okay, so Lucy, so uh, I almost called her Lucy. Betty and our friend the android are out there having a conversation. Good thing is Betty distracted him, so now he's not chasing me. So Betty is over there. Mr. Android is over there. Hello, Betty. You're looking marvelous today. Did you comb your cone head? Man, you've been working out. Look at those legs. This bitch will not leave me alone. What's she doing? She's just fucking running around in circles.
Pretty sure she's up in the vent. Yeah, she's up in the vent. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go this way. Okay, so she's leaving. So now I need to go out here and take a right. I also have to keep an eye out for our friend Mr. Android, which apparently is walking around. I'm not too thrilled about that proposition. I guess we're going down this way, right? I believe so. Yeah, this door wasn't unlocked before, so we're going through here. I don't see Betty on the radar anywhere though, so that's good. Hmm. Okay. Now she's behind us. She's up in the vents. I can hear her crawling around. Betty? Betty Draper, is that you? It's Don. Don Draper. Yes, it is I. Let me get out my cigarettes and I'll smoke them in front of you. You can have one too. Smoke it in front of Sally. Probably is a way. Final level three upgrade for the access tuner. Is the one around here? I don't see one. Maybe through this corridor? No. Okay, so we need to find an access tuner upgrade. Not really sure where. Maybe it is over in here. Because it's saying find an upgrade, but it's circling this area. Am I missing it? Ah, there we go. Alright. Not really too concerned about her. She's up in the vents. Almost didn't make it. Alright, so let's launch the ambulance shuttle. And I guess we're gonna go to Marlowe's ship. I was going to say, great view, but I guess it was still in the docking bay. Damn, this thing is really not that fast. I would have thought it would have been faster for an ambulance. Alright, we've made it to his ship. 
time for us to find old buddy Marlowe and pay him, pay him a visit. So, apparently we are out of radio contact range with Ricardo. But, yeah, let's explore. There are no aliens so that on this ship, so that's good. We can just kind of explore freely without worry. Bring the Anisadora systems back online. Okay, how does one propose we do that? Through here, I'm guessing? There's some tight corridors in here. Looks like she's about to hit her head on the fucking ceiling. How tall is Ripley? Hmm. It belongs to a ship, an Astroma, Wayland Utani property. That means there'll be a reward. So then Marlowe had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky. Found a distress signal and now we're following it. Oh shit. So they didn't even find that planet, like, right off the bat, but they found the flight recorder for the Snowbo, and then they traced that back to the original alien planet. Hmm. 4510. This is the code. 4510. We are in. Let's go this way. Gotta restart these generators. Turtle on the jinnies. So we got one. Now there's a second one. Right here. Uno. Dos. Tres. Alright. What do we do now? Aha! This thing. Alright, so we got that, so I have no idea what the fuck we're doing. Apparently we're taking off, from the sounds of it. This thing's about to fucking rev up. Oh, well that was good timing. Ricardo, in case you're hearing me, I've got the Anisadora's basic power systems back online. Doors should be open. Hopefully some light. Still no sign of Marlo. Huh. Hello? Where are you, Marlo? Thanks for switching the power back on. You saved me a job. I only needed it offline temporarily. I had some things to hmm. That's not vague at all. Maybe you want to join my crew. When you're free. <laughs> So, he's got something for us. He's got that dick. Um, apparently, there's face, face grabbers or face suckers or whatever the fuck they're called on this ship.
All right, so we're getting through this door, no problem. Open sesame, and now we're walking this way. This way? Yeah, that face grabber fucking startled me for a second. I, I was like, uh, what the fuck is that noise? And then it took me a second to register what it actually was. Nope, can't do that. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, we can build this. And then we can keep... Shit. Let's try this again. That way we can uh, make room to keep collecting sensors, because we're going to need those EMP mines eventually, I think, to fight androids, maybe? Uh, maybe not, I don't know. I mean, he's right. I mean, when once humans come in contact with the xenomorphs, I mean, the, we can't, like, humans can't fight it. The, it's just not a winning battle. Um, so, I mean, he's right on that part. He's actually very right on that part. You just gotta try to erase it and hope that nobody ever comes in contact with it again. He's very right on that part. Um, right or left? I guess the left, because there's a door down there. Use terminal. Okay, let's do this. Alright, what are we doing? Oh shit. That's right. This is for my daughter. Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart. And I hope you get to hear it once. Is that really some corny weaver? You see, I um I got into trouble. Um my ship there was an accident, sweetheart, and um we found an alien creature. It was very dangerous, and the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. Yep, you did. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. Yeah, yeah. I love you, sweetheart. I wonder if, is that really Scorny Weaver? It kind of sounds like her, I'm not sure. I do like how this game, um, integrates the original Alien movie into, oh into the game. It's very well done, like, in terms of tying it in. Probably one of the best tie-in game to movies like ever <laughs> most most tying games are terrible oh well hello oh shit you've got a gun don't shoot taylor she's kind of hot want to keep her alive what happened to her leg i thought she hurt her leg i think that's his point Yeah. Quite honestly, I I agree with him. Fucking blow the whole thing up. We don't have to do this. Yeah.
No! What if I don't want to stop it? I think it's probably a good idea to stop it. No, to get let it continue. Open the fusion system so I can work on them. I need power set to the auxiliary generator. Look for the letters A U X. How do I do that? What am I doing? Uh, uh, oh, shit, there it is. I knew there was something around me, I just couldn't find it. She's very calm about pushing that button in such a dire time of need. I got that. Alright, so we gotta turn that. Crank the wrench. This thing really makes, likes to make loud noises, doesn't he? Sounds like fucking Inception. Wow. Oh shit. Time to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you're done for, Taylor. Sorry. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Fucking Zeus got her. Zeus came back. He his job wasn't done. Oh, well, time to run. Sorry, Marlo, it's been a blast. <laughs> get the uh, irony, get the get the fucking pun, but I've got to run. Uh, keep on running, Amanda. Keep on running. This way. And this way. I like all this lightning. That has to hurt. Uh, let's keep on going this way and to the left here. Running, running, running. Got to keep on running. Running, running, running. There's a face gra air grabber on the floor. Run, run, run. Running, Amanda Ripley. We are running. Shit, shit, shit. Run, run, run. No time to save the game now. Launch! She sure is take her time about getting in that chair, doesn't she? <laughs> She's like, oh, okay, let me sit down. Um, I don't know. I while this game, while this low points loads, if it was me, if I was in that situation, I would probably agree with Marlo and let the thing nuke itself and just blow up all the alien creatures. Because in this situation, you have so many, you can't kill them, and the company wanted them for a reason they wanted to use them like to try to experiment on them and use them as weapons from apparently from what apollo was saying so you don't want them having it just and like just fucking let the let, let it nuke them like let the ship nuke itself and just be done with it you know that that's my opinion Hmm, so we need to find a way to contact the Torrens. I guess they're... Yeah, they're still around.
They've been out there the whole time. They have no idea what the fuck's going on. So where are we going here? Oh, this isn't the fucking medical bay. This is something different. Where the fuck are we? We're going all the way over here, apparently. The fuck is that noise? Sounds like a fucking dying cat. <laughs> Hold on, I have to itch my head. Okay, now we can pull the lever. Oh, we're in the place where we first encountered the uh, robots. Okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end off this part here because this is actually uh, the beginning of a new part. I didn't even realize. Um, so I'm going to end off this part here. I think it's on a little bit on the short side. But uh, yeah, if I don't end it off here, then uh, we won't be able to end it for like... It's going to be like a 50-minute video and I don't want it to be the video to be that long. I'm looking for a save point, but I don't see one. So I guess I'm going to have to keep going but that'll be on the next part but thank you guys for watching this part of alien isolation if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe to the channel for more alien isolation videos leave some feedback in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time